the largest hydropower project in Africa. A new monument for Ethiopian nations, nationalities and peoples. By nuclear of seeing developed nations and the cornerstone of the country's move toward this renaissance. The Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Town. This huge hydropower project was launched on April 2, 2011 by the late Ethiopian Prime Minister Malla Zenawi over the Nile River. Since then, a number of temporary and permanent construction works have been well underway. The Kofar Dam excavation is being carried out. The investigation works have been already finalized at the uh, main dam. Um, investigation works are already completed 100%. Uh, excavation work is uh, uh, um, progressing uh, satisfactorily and the placement of the roller compacted concrete have been started and at the same time diversion have been made successfully and we are now uh, excavating the uh, riverbed at uh, the place where originally the water was flowing is commenced uh, in order to um, construct also the powerhouse which are located on the, down, on the downstream side of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. There are two powerhouses, the excavation of the powerhouses and at the same time at our office, home office, the design works are been carried out uh, uh, properly, uh, satisfactorily, and uh, uh, in order to support the realization of the uh, or the construction of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, we have already um, uh, installed uh, two um, plants, which we called uh, aggregate processing plant and at the same time roller compacted concrete manufacturing plant. So such kind of activities are being carried out uh, uh, satisfactorily. The Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam is a unique project that allowed people of the nation to think big. In order to realize this mega project, almost all Ethiopians have been contributing their shares. The contribution of Ethiopian diasporas was also very encouraging over the past two years. The Ethiopian diaspora has been contributing towards the realization of the Renaissance Dam from the from the, the go, from the day go, from the very beginning. Uh, and they have been contributing uh, in various forms. Uh, first of all, they have started organizing themselves in the forms of councils councils uh, that would work toward this uh, uh, creating awareness about the the the, the, the renaissance, greater Ethiopian renaissance Dam. I think the creation of the awareness is the first thing in order that is the first thing they have been doing and uh, in that case uh, there are various committees various councils and different capitals uh, where we, we have uh, in fact significant Ethiopian diaspora in fact with the with the involvement of the Ethiopian embassies, Ethiopian missions and consulates abroad. In uh, Dallas, Texas, we have a committee. It's called the uh, Growth Transformational uh, Plan uh, Committee, GTP Dallas. We've come together, we're Ethiopians, and uh, we're fundraising money for the Renaissance Dam. Right now, uh, uh, on August 24th, we have another fundraising. Hopefully, we'll get the engineer of the uh, Renaissance Dam to come and join us over there and do the uh, explanation like he did for us. Uh, and in 2011 of November, we did also one fundraising that we uh, raised close to 220,000 uh, US dollars for this Renaissance Dam. Ethiopian diasporas have been supporting the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam in a number of ways. Financial support is one of the biggest contributions since the commencement of the project. Financial contribution is also another aspect of it, whereby a significant amount of money have been contributed by the Ethiopian diaspora in different parts of the world. In fact, the contribution varies from country to country. It depends also on the capacity of the, of the, of the diaspora itself, because <coughs> when we talk about Ethiopian diaspora, we talk about diversity of the living standards as well. Uh, there are affluent diaspora who are well educated, who have uh, significant income, good income. And 
there are others also who are not um, in a very good position. I mean, I'm talking in terms of their incomes. It was simply buying a bond, you know, uh, simply because this is an Ethiopian project uh, and and the implication of, you know, the Abai River, the Nile River, uh, and how much everybody was interested, you know, in, in this project and how it's going to change the life of, uh, you know, uh, every Ethiopian uh, in the future. But I really never thought the magnitude of, you know, this project. Uh, uh, this is huge. I personally uh, am very passionate about, you know, uh, finding ways how the so-called Ethiopian diaspora actually could connect with the motherland. Uh, purely we are focusing on academics and practitioners and researchers. And then we try to find ways of actually linking them actually with, the, with their fellow brothers and sisters actually back here in Ethiopia. Therefore we have taken initiative what we call a knowledge exchange network. Uh, what we try to do is we try to identify like-minded individuals who are residing actually outside their country and to let them actually get together and establish a connection actually with the professionals back at home. Uh, in the process, we establish kind of a platform where people actually can debate issues of actually Ethiopia and also issues of uh, b benefit for everyone. Totally, it was supportive uh, since uh, the declaration of uh, the commencement of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam project. All c citizens uh, have been already mobilized in support of the project. Uh, to realize, uh, to uh, finalize or to complete the project and uh, uh, make it to generate the 6,000 megawatt of electricity. So since uh, uh, that time, um, of course, uh, um, several uh, supporters uh, were made in the past and uh, they are also uh, presently um, supporting aggressively the, the, uh, in order to realize the project as I have already explained to you. So um, the first is just by purchasing of the bond but above all uh, they were all the time uh, calling and uh, asking us uh, in what way uh, they can uh, be engaged uh, to uh, really uh, support the project differently. So, uh, in addition to the purchase of the bond, uh, they uh, were also uh, support by uh, providing gifts uh, in terms of monetary gifts and uh, uh, they have already shown uh, interested uh, uh, just uh, to make engage themselves and uh, uh, provide their professional services. So, uh, above all, the movement, the feeling, uh, the total feeling uh, of the Ethiopian diasporas uh, uh, are really uh, something that we should uh, appreciate. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs, through its embassies, missions and consulates, has been engaged in mobilizing Ethiopian diasporas so that they would contribute their share for the realization of the Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam. All embassies and consulates have been disseminating information to Ethiopian diasporas in that regard. The Ministry for Foreign Affairs does this through its embassies and the consulates that are stationed in different parts of the world. And uh, the first thing that the Ministry have been doing was, in fact, giving instructions for the embassies or urging the embassies to put the, 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 the contribution for the financial, for the great Ethiopian Renaissance Dam in their plan, in their yearly performance plan. When it goes operational, the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam is believed to mitigate energy shortage in the country. It has also important contribution in the effort towards reducing poverty. Despite the multifaceted importance of the project for the overall development of the nation, some Ethiopian diaspora seemingly stand against it. There are also some disgruntled elements within the rank of the diaspora who in one way or another are trying to sabotage the very activities of supporting the Great Renaissance Dam. 
these are elements who are actually carrying the others agenda they don't have their own agenda they are carrying the agendas uh, that imposed on them by the forces that are not uh, friendly to the Ethiopian uh, uh, prosperity forces that rather stand against Ethiopian prosperity uh, these are uh, the very few uh, isolated in fact uh, vocal uh, those are vocal they are very isolated they are very minority as well I think they are getting minority every day every passing day therefore uh, their impact is becoming insignificant as the days go, go goes by as the, the progress of the construction of the Renaissance Dam uh, you know that that itself is making them a quite uh, relevant force there is so much misconception about this dam to begin with you know people uh, talk about the money is being spent somewhere else there is actually no construction in there um, and so on uh, it, it's 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 real it's right there and uh, I can I can be very uh, confident talking about it to many of the Ethiopian colleagues abroad uh, particularly people who are interested but confused by all the news uh, that you know uh, is available on the internet this is something that will help eradicate poverty this will, this will help Ethiopia become a powerhouse of electricity I mean for this to happen and this is all done by Ethiopians for Ethiopians I will tell them I mean politics is politics but this is something that will stay just like we have Aksu, we have Lalibela, we have Gonda, and we've had transfers of something that we can talk about. I guess this Renaissance Dam is something for you and I's generation to say here, in our generation, this is what we have done. So they have to think about this is what we're going to transfer as a generation of, rather than to use this as a political mean. Manalvat inya and the two lit Kazit good Dinagano Minchil to Line or Richelad Nagargan, Yenyal Joch, Machu Tulit, and then a Yeda Hagar South of Lai Sado Yetalak Ethiopia Agar South of Loli Masagan in Michel Basrano Yet Saral. The disgruntled elements are not also only those who carry others' agenda who are adversaries to the Ethiopian interests. There are also confused ones yeah. who are confused, who, who, who lack the perspective, the very perspective of what this dam is all about. In a bid to change this deep-rooted misconception of Ethiopian diaspora towards their homebound development, Ministry of Foreign Affairs arranged to visit project site of the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam. <laughs> June 19, 2013, significant members of Ethiopian diaspora have visited project site.
እንኳን ወደ ታላቅ የኢትዮጵያ ህዳሴ ግድብ ፕሮጀክት ሳይት በደና መጣችሁ ተላላው ኢትዮጵያን ዲያስፖራ ሰቨራል ኢን ነምበርስ ዌር ጋዘርድ አት ዘ ግራንድ ኢትዮጵያን ሪኒሴንስ ዳም ፕሮጀክት ሶ ዚስ ኢዝ ኢን ማይ ኦፒኒየን ሂስቶሪካሊ ዘ ፈርስት ታይም ቱ ቢ ጋዘርድ አት ኤ ፕሌስ uh like like the ethiopian diasporas uh, uh, have met recently at the grand ethiopian renaissance dam project so um uh, just they traveled via uh, airplane from addis ababa to asosa with the three chartered airplane from ethiopian airlines and uh, uh, they traveled from uh, asosa uh, to the grand ethiopian renaissance dam project which is which has a distance of uh, 210 km uh, with the uh, uh, road transport vehicles and uh, um, after they witnessed what is going on there they were highly uh, really excited the ethiopian uh, renaissance dam uh, is everything for ethiopia everything for us uh, and going and actually looking at the you know the the the, the construction zone was something uh, completely different it, it completely changed my perception of uh, the whole process uh, there were questions about you know diversion and so on until you physically go and look at what they have done uh, you you probably won't understand uh, what you know what what the whole thing is uh, it's very exciting to see the construction zone itself there is so much work that's being done and uh, it just changed you know uh, the way i understood the whole process to see something that you've been thinking that uh, in my opinion it, it used to be something that we were thinking are they going to finish it are they going to do it but yesterday what i witnessed was i was there i watched i looked at everything i talked to the engineer that's doing the uh, project so it was really fulfilling very fulfilling to begin with i was very passionate about it uh, because i know that and it is it's a kind of uh, a big project uh, which is uh, obviously is meant to help obviously the economy uh, but by seeing it obviously as they say seeing is believing by seeing it actually have come to learn the importance of it and how important and how big project it is and of course by seeing it i would be never more actually uh what shall i say i would be a more uh thinking and uh, feeling more about it and uh, finding actual ways how to even actually promote the cause and the need actually for this specific project actually to succeed much am my tamaman እኔ እነን ሳይን ባየ ተናነቀ እኔ እድሜ ያግንቼ ይሁቴስ ከመን ቆይቶ አባይ ላይ ይሄ መሰረት ተጥሎ ማያቴ ለኔ ድልድዩ ተሰርቶ ፓወሩ እንደወጣ ቁጥር ግድቡ ግድቡ ተሰርቶ ፓወሩ እንደወጣ ነው ቁጥረው ይሄንን ራሱን በህይወት ዘመን የማያት እና በርግጥ አገራቸውን የሚወዱ ሰዎች ይሄንን ባይውት የነኝ ይሄን ሰራተኞች ትጋት የዚህን ቅዱስ ሰላማ ታላቅነት እየመጡ ባይውት ከኔ ወለጠ ሊደግፉት እንደምችል ተሰምቶ ነው ያለው በጣም ለመግለጽ የሚያስቸግር ነው ዱብሊክ ርቅ ያለ ስሜት ነው የሚሰማ በተለይ ደግሞ እንደዚህ በተሰብስበን በሚዲያ ስንከታተለው سنሰማው የነበረው የሀገራችንን ትልቅ ወነራይ በአይን እዚ ለመመስከር ለማይት ታሪክ የነን አጋጣሚ ለኛ ስለፈቀደልን እንደታደልን ነው የምቆጥረው Arriving as a project site the Ethiopian diaspora were briefed about the progress of the dam by project manager of the dam engineer Simanyo Bagala the engineer i forgot his name uh, is Simanyo uh, uh, what a nice guy a very motivated uh, very involved gentleman uh, who actually took us step by step on what they were building uh, 
uh, it was uh, an experience. This is a lifetime experience. It helps you to understand what Ethiopians are actually doing on the ground. And uh, it, it simply, uh, for me, I think every Ethiopian has a stake on this. Uh, we uh, already explained uh, them, uh, the, uh, I mean briefly, uh, the progress of the project, how it was uh, planned and entered into uh, just the implementation. I've come actually to learn more about it, uh, how detailed work it is and also how it has actually been conducted very professionally. Obviously the project is not uh, just kind of a project which has just been just started off. It is a project which is purely thought about well planned, well planned, well coordinated and with the aim of actually just producing something which is beneficial uh, not only to Ethiopia but also for the neighboring countries. His Malat Ethiopia has bitcha idol in the Yamlet and the Ethiopia and Bahad. His Malat Yetum Botaino has been on now and to take one to be good up at looking at Masarat had a regular project idol and Nahinan Masarat Madrid Bezabo Chakavi Sinor. Better after visiting the Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam project, the diaspora vote to contribute more in many ways for the realization of the dam. We have to do more. I think everybody who has visited this dam should be able to, uh, to, to be an ambassador of this country and uh, educate people about this, really. Diplomatic support for the for the for the for the Great Renaissance Dam. By diplomatic support, I mean support, psychological support, political support, uh, even physical support. Like uh, there are some diaspora members also who have uh, promised to come back home and uh, contribute towards their construction physically. I am much more motivated, and I will be much more involved in this uh, uh, process than I had uh, actually uh, thought of before. Repeatedly uh, they were saying that we are behind you. So um, we are here even though um, physically we are not at this location, at the place where the project is being constructed. Please consider us always available. Please consider us, we are at our um, uh, living place uh, we are supporting we are working uh, the, the the project there is a feeling in the ministry that this contribution could be elevated there is a feeling there is uh, uh, an assumption that the diaspora could contribute better than what it is contributing right now and so uh, there is an activity in that direction right now that that we should for example they can um, they can contribute through knowledge as well. They can contribute through transfer of technology that would support the construction of the Renaissance Dam. They can also even um, enhance their financial contributions more than what they are doing well, right now. And uh, there are various ways of, of, of uh, helping the, the, the dam. And uh, there is a feeling in the ministry that Ethiopian diaspora should contribute more than what it's contributing right now. The Grand Ethiopia Renaissance Dam has a capacity of generating 6,000 megawatts of electricity when it goes operational. 
If all Ethiopians living in homeland and Ethiopian diasporas contribute what they can, this historic project is believed to be completed in the same timetable.